She respects you more than anything in the world. What? Do you mean that as a joke? I am even more powerless than those spirits who are able to exert some influence over the world. 
I suspect they look down on me. It may be best that I cannot hear them, though I dearly wish I could. Who's joking now? Hmm. It saddens me that you don't believe me.
Sure. There's no time for you to rest. Your trials are only halfway complete. You must persevere if you wish to regain the light that you recently lost. That is your duty as one aiming to be the warrior of light. My duty? I get to choose what my duty is. <laughs> Not something a warrior of light would say, don't you think? Do you not remember those blanks who gave their lives in the most recent battle? They all sacrificed themselves for a cause that they dearly believed in. They gave something irreplaceable, their lives, to protect Princess Sarah. And you've taken her, the object of such adulation, from her castle on a dangerous road, away from her protectors, putting her life at risk. I didn't take Sarah. She came of her own volition, not at my urging. I will not mince words. No one will believe you. No one will believe that a chaste and virtuous figure such as she would come with you and ignore her responsibilities as royalty to her devoted people. And, of course, if anything were to happen to their precious princess, they will despise you even more than they despise chaos. Trust me, I won't let that happen. Then, I cannot but wish you the best of luck. Though I do not envy your position, I must admit that I do envy who you are. After all, Princess Sarah chose you above all the other blanks. A secret love, 
a bond shared between a doting princess and her faithful knight. A fairy tale come true, is it not? Don't care. Deep within your heart, do you truly not? Sarah would be so disappointed if she heard those words.
no hope. something now that Sarah's away. Would chaos come after her? The prophecy says that the warrior of light will protect the princess from harm. If it's a foregone conclusion, then what possible reason could there be for me to train so hard? The warrior of light will protect her, as per the prophecy. But I don't remember you having become the warrior of light. The line between confidence and vanity is not a thin one, my young friend. Ugh, don't listen to him. 
He's just trying to confuse you. With both of us know, that's supposed to be my job. Then I suppose Garland was right after all. Most of what Vox bothers to say is of use, the rest is deception and false tales. Oh, deception and false tales, you say? We're still here? I must admit, Garland is an amusing creature. He enjoys spinning tall tales, but I must ask, how much of what he says do you think is of use?
something I'd like to ask you. Your way here has been rife with peril. Are you sure you walk the right path? Do you mean the way I live? Or are you going to hand me a map of this place so I don't get lost? Both, I suppose. Your journey is not anywhere close to over. Perhaps you need a guide, don't you think? Maybe. Once these trials are over, Princess Sarah will come join you on your journey. What if you became lost then, and must make camp in a most hostile land? Will you make a princess accustomed to feather beds sleep on the dirt? Yes, you need a guide. But... I doubt that any ruffian you find on the street would suffice. If you are to follow the prophecy, then you need someone versed in the prophecy. Now, where would such a creature be? Who knows? No? Are you afraid to lose our hypothetical guide friend? Just like you lost that misbegotten Moogle. Don't listen to him! He's taunting you! Come, come. You didn't truly care for that Moogle, did you? You didn't act like you did, yet it upsets you. Are you so arrogant that you still think of him as your friend? My apologies. Perhaps I have overstepped my bounds. No, Vox, you're right. Mob was not my friend. What? If someone's your friend, you're supposed to be there for them through thick and thin. I wasn't there when Mob needed me, and I didn't realize exactly what I had lost until he was gone. I don't deserve to be called his friend, and that's all I have to say. So very much like you to paint yourself the villain in your story.